My situation in which I had to overcome was being bullied in the first grade. For more on this, I interviewed my father. As I can recall, it was back when Jacob was around six, and I think it was the first grade, and he came home from school one day, and he was, you know, visibly upset, and when I asked him, you know, Jacob, what's, what's wrong, what's going on? He had said that a boy in his class had took his lunch bag, threw it on the ground, and started kicking it, and then he, every time Jacob tried to retrieve it, he would just kick it more and further away. So I told Jacob, there comes a time in your life where you need to stand up for yourself, and when you have people like that, and we'll say is a bully and is bullying you, you have to let it be known that you're not going to tolerate that. So he goes to school the next day, and I get a phone call just before lunch, and it was the principal, and he said Jacob had been in a fight. And I, you know, had a question. Jacob was in a fight. You know, what were the uh, circumstances? What, you know, what's going on? And he explained to me that a boy had taken his lunch bag and threw it on the ground and started kicking it. And when Jacob tried to retrieve it, the boy basically would get in front of him and wouldn't let him retrieve his lunch bag. So in turn, Jacob punched him in the face. So I basically told the principal, well, it isn't as if the other boy didn't have it coming because he shouldn't have been taking Jacob's possessions and throwing them on the ground and kicking them and then trying to keep him from his possessions. So in the end, the bully stopped bullying and Jacob was left alone. My advice to someone who is in a similar circumstance as I was in is to stand up for yourself. 